Hello vlog. Today I'm going to be doing another dupe video. I think the only time that I've done something like this was specifically related to eyeshadow, but today we're going to be talking about face towels. Let's deep dive into this, see exactly how it is that I use these products and which one I ended up choosing. So of course I unboxed it and off rip I realized I ordered the wrong size. Here I have the Clean Skin Club Redefining Clean Face Towels. The dupe that I have here today is the Or Med Life Clean Towels Ultra Soft. Before I get into trying them, I'm going to take them out of the box. So this is the Clean Skin Club Towelette. And this one is a 25 pack, also ultra soft. So that's already one comparison. So then we have the Our Med Life clean towels. And let's see size wise. So they are exactly the same price and hmm, this one definitely does feel a bit more high quality compared to this one. If I had to compare them, it's definitely giving like Bounty versus the store brand. This is the cleanser that I will be using. You have seen this before if you've been here before. But in case you haven't and this is your first time coming across me, this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And I've been bragging about the fact that this has literally lasted me for weeks. So you better get one of these. I'm going to use a towelette dry and just scoop a little bit like I would with my hands. And then I'm going to go in. It's already removing my makeup. I mean, yeah, <laughs> what did I expect? It can remove makeup really nicely. In one swipe even. Now let's try the dupe on the other side. Take a look at the towels if you're grossed out by this i apologize so i was able to keep it more or less in one general spot on this one and then on the other one kind of the same thing but i think i picked up a little bit more product so which one looks like it has more of a mess i would say this one because it's all in one spot but i initially thought it was going to be this one but anyway neither here nor there i'm going to use the same cloth just using the other side of course and attempt to wash my face with it I try to use the same amount of soap if that is even possible Okay, we're getting somewhere. This is the damage I was able to do on the Clean Skin Club. Now I'm trying the Our Med Tablet. Okay, and this is what this one is looking like. Let's compare them side by side. So either this one is getting more product or this one just has a better way of not wasting too much. I don't know. I'll tell you in my final thoughts what it's giving. 
I decided to use the Clarins Hydrating Foaming Cleanser as a way to wash my makeup off because I really believe that a foaming cleanser will get any remnants of makeup off. So as you could see, the water is getting a little brown because it means I still have remnants of makeup from the first time. So I decided to go ahead in and wash a second time. And you can see how much cleaner my face must have been because look at how foaming it was washing my face i had to wash it twice because i realized there was still remnants of makeup on my face so now i'm gonna go in with a fresh towelette and i'm gonna give myself a quick wipe down Here is the remnants of makeup that are still on my face. And then over here. These items have very similar product uses. One of them being you can use it to dry your face as I just did. Another one being pairing it with a cleanser. Another one being pairing it with a makeup remover. And then I see some unique claims that you could use it to clean your makeup brushes, as well as you can wet it and remove face mask. So I definitely chose the three easiest steps that I could squeeze into one night. Before I officially announce which one I will be moving forward with, let's speak about some similarities that these have so because we're speaking about a product that is currently very viral of course you know some things are like overly hyped but i'm here to say that these products are not the clean skin club face towels they definitely feel very luxe and now let's talk about price so the clean skin club facial towels this 25 count retailed at nine dollars for me whereas this 100 count retailed for me at 8.99 so basically they were just about the same price but if i had to choose between 25 for nine dollars and 100 for eight dollars definitely i would choose this quality wise there is a difference but in terms of overall removal so far i definitely think we have a winner here with both of these products you get different pack options this one is very famous in the xl one I didn't happen to come across it when I was looking into it because I honestly went on Amazon to get these specifically. So I was going to initially buy the three pack, but I said, let me try it for myself and be the judge of if I was willing to fully commit to a three pack of this one or a three pack of this one. I definitely do see myself choosing either of these at any point moving forward but of course to be more economical it makes more sense to get the dupe as opposed to the original the only other thing that i would have to say here is that even though the quality is somewhat different i do feel like you could get very similar results with either of these as a matter of fact this part of my face feels more dried out whereas this one feels slightly more smoother and moist to me so i don't know if i had to compare what my face felt like i definitely would go for this side anyway because over here literally feels like the sahara desert and over here does not so that's the winner in my book in conclusion i definitely do appreciate both of them but for many reasons i would have to go with the dupe versus the original in this particular case if you guys would like to see other makeup versus dupe videos let me know i will be here all month long so be sure to tune into tomorrow's video to see what exactly i have in store for you oh wait so before i forget apart from the fact that you have to spend different amounts for these towels i feel like some of the uses are more or less like you would use it for this one thing and maybe you know you on the off chance that you do you could use it for some other steps personally i will definitely be using these to dry my face as well as take makeup off so that could possibly be like a two-in-one for me so as you guys saw in my demo 
I used one side to wash my face, one side to remove my makeup, and honestly, it worked out for me, so that's all that really mattered. But um, if you were to be doing multiple of these, I definitely feel like you'd go through the pack a lot quicker. In this particular demo, I went through two of these, so now I'm down from 25 to 23, whereas I have a 100 pack of this, so I went down from 100 to 98. I definitely think this was clearly a winner. I think she had, I don't think this had a shot to begin with, but I was hoping that the quality would be so different that this would be the winner because this is definitely more of an investment. This is definitely more so what people look for. But if you're looking for affordable options, because if you're anything like me and you wear makeup pretty often, definitely will be going through a hundred pack in less than a month. So if you're going to get this one, not saying not to, but just consider the price. I'll let you guys know when each box is finished via my Instagram story. Or maybe I'll check it on a vlog if it happens to finish before Vlogtober is over. But anyway, I just want to say again, thank you so much for watching. Bye!